Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb. Wanted to create this cool video about A-B testing with the, the Google Analytics Experiments tool. Uh, in short, A-B testing is just um, a way for you to test two versions or more a, of a specific page on your website in order to try to figure out how you can convert and a, a make your users or help your users more correctly uh, um, achieve the goal. So, uh, you know, a cre create more sales maybe as a goal or um, fill up more forms or stuff like that. So basically trying to test out different versions of your pages, of your coding, of your design in order to have your users convert better and you be able to achieve your business goals in a better way. So pretty straightforward. So um, what we did before we dive into how to actually set it up, what we wanted to test out is um, this, this one page and uh, this battery priceless page and what our actual goal is is to um, have people actually from the price list click on start here and actually move forward in, in order to purchase a battery. So uh, what we did is we created one very simple uh, change which is this is the original page and what we did on the is test pages we enlarged this start here button in order to gather more attention and to, to actually get more clicks. So our goal is to actually uh, gather more clicks. So if you see on our new page the button is basically larger. So we did one simple change, not much to it. So um, basically now what we need to do is we need to add one more thing before we set it up. And what we want to do is set up some kind of um, basically a, a, some a event tracking. Okay, so we want to track that someone actually clicks on this button to be able to monitor if the new page is doing better or not. Okay. So what we're going to have to do is tag this. So step one is we're going to have to go to these two pages and tag this specific button. Okay. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm just going to take some event tracking code from an existing page. Okay. And we're going to copy that. Okay. So you're basically going to add two. Let's go all the way to right here. So what you're going to want to do is go to the code of the pages and I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So now we're on our FTP client right here and I'm going to edit some of the pages. So battery, battery price list. Let's go here. And this is our original page with the, the underscore list at the end. And where we have our button, which is this specific button right here. Um, start here basically so it's basically this specific start here button we're gonna add to the a tag to the link tag we're gonna add the following uh, event tracking on click so on click push track event click and then we're gonna call it let's say the start here start here battery okay and then yes as far as the clicks so that's kind of the the actual uh, value itself so now we're going to save this. We're going to do it on the other one as well. Okay. So we're going to go here, save, and we're going to do it on the new page we created, which is called Battery Price. Okay. We're going to do it again right here and the same exact event. Okay. And battery, yes. Okay, perfect. So now let's just test out the pages that they look okay. This is fine, and this is fine. Okay, perfect. So now that we have that, before we go into the actual area, I just want to make sure we have our screen sharing. Yes, we do. Um, so what we want to do is go to the analytics and set up a, a goal, first of all. So we know that we're actually tracking goals, and in the A-B testing, we'll be able to actually set up our, our definition goal to, see, to actually monitor. So uh, I'm going to go to admin right here and go to goals of course make sure my domain is selected and create a first goal and this goal will be battery start here click on okay so I know someone actually went to the the start here button or went to the next page and I'm gonna go to event right here and click on next so because we added an event to the click now I'm going to actually have to add this information so if you remember 
the category, and I, I pasted it right here, is called click. So I'm going to paste this under category. The action is start here, and um, that's it. I mean, I can put the label, yes, but this should be fine. Okay? So equals to equals to, no problem. Now um, use the event value as the goal value for the conversion. That's fine. We can keep it. And if I click on verify, nothing will show because we just included that. Um, but it's a good thing to try to, to uh, verify always what you do. So I'm going to click on create a goal. Okay. And the goal name is battery start here clicked on. Okay. So now we're ready to start. Um, of course, you want to test it and everything, but we're ready to go. So if I go back to the reporting and I go to the behavior tab right here and to experiments, you'll get to this page. So now here, here's where we're actually setting it up. So our so first of all, you want to put the page you want to improve, the original page. I'm going to copy this, okay, and it'll give a preview so you make sure you actually have the right page, which is really nice as preview, and I'm going to click on start experimenting, okay. Now uh, we need to name it, so let's call it uh, just a name that, that is helpful for us just in case we have multiple uh, experiments, so battery, price, list, uh, get start here clicks okay that's what we're trying to do now a second ago we set up the the event tracking and the goal so I'm gonna go here go to goal set one and make sure I click on the one that we actually want to track the one that we actually set up okay so battery start here clicked on goal number one uh, now we're gonna set up the percentage of traffic to experiment hundred percent email notifications if something important changes um, of course and advanced options, we typically don't touch those, but you can change the, the, uh, the setting here, uh, minimum time for experiment, the, the longer the better, the more traffic you have, obviously the better, we'll keep it at two weeks, and we'll keep the confidence threshold at what Google recommends. So let's click on next. Okay, so now this is our original page, it looks, now we have to insert the new page we created right here. Okay, and we'll call it just variation one. You can name it whatever you want. Maybe variation one, large button, or maybe larger button. Okay, now we can see it. You can compare the small button to the larger one. And let's click, and here you can add more variations, but right now we just want to do A, B, just two versions. The original versus the new page we want to test out. Okay, so now it shows you again the, the um, previews. It looks fine, the button is here, uh, and now we have to go to the actual uh, um, insertion of code. So uh, if you click on the insertion of code, it says here, uh, please put it in the opening tag at the top of the head tag. So you got to do that. Definitely it has to be above your original um, Google Analytics code. So um, first of all, of course, I'm just going to show you that the regular analytics code is on the page. Um, it's right here. Obviously, you need this analytics code on all of your pages, your original, your tests, and everything. Now, what you need to do is copy this and insert it only on the, the original page, not on the new test page or anything like that, right? So, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to insert that to the original page, right? The one that we're trying to make it better, right? So I'm going to go here, and here's the head tag. I'm inserting right after the head. I'm going to save it, okay, and just make sure that it actually did catch. Let's check out the code, and it's here. Perfect. So um, now let's see if we can move forward. Let's click on Next Step, and now we're going to verify that the code is actually implemented. So here it'll tell you that it actually found on the original both the regular analytics tracking code and the experimental code exactly how it asks us and the variation as well found the regular code so that's basically it um, everything worked out correctly all we do here is click on start experiment and it says here experiment launch so anytime you want to actually go to it you'll have the status you can edit it you can pause it stuff like that and you'll have some more details so uh, in another video, when you click on it, after a few days, a day, a two, three, you'll have some data as far as the goal, um, the, the goal percentage of each one, the variation versus the original, the probability, 
and the conclusions, of course. So uh, that's it. So we set it up. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys have any questions with experiments, A-B testing, we'll be happy to help. Please, um, you know, comment and, and ask me any questions. We'll be happy to help. And we'll, we will be creating more videos about experiments, about diagnosing and looking at the actual data, and, of course, some uh, blog posts about it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.